Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another news site update for Final Fantasy XIV. We have a Final Fantasy XVI crossover coming very soon, and we have a special site posted yesterday talking about this. And uh, honestly, it gives me great pleasure to talk about the rewards. They're a lot better than I expected. So let's have a look at this, and it says, The Path Infernal. At the conjunction of two stars does the tale begin. So this is an official crossover for Final Fantasy XIV and the event overview then. So if you're wanting to take part in this, this will be on the 2nd of April, so not too far away. at 8 a.m. GMT or 1900 ADT and will last until the 8th of May, which is a Wednesday at 1.59 GMT or the 9th of May at 0.59 a.m. AST. Uh, if you're interested in taking part in this, definitely take place in April. Definitely come back to the game because you don't want to miss out on these rewards. If you're familiar with the Final Fantasy 16, uh, well, 15 crossover with the Regalia mount, basically the same sort of exclusivity comes with the 16 event. So uh, definitely don't miss this. Of course, it starts at level 50. This will be in Uldar Steps of Nold at the MPC, the Nef. Neophyte Adventurer, I think that's Neophyte, Neophyte Adventurer, at X 8.8, Y 9.8, and it's called A Land on Fire. This is uh, requiring you to be level 50 at the very least in the game, and have completed the ultimate weapon. That's the part of the MSQ where you finish off uh, Porta Decumana essentially. Once you've done that and uh, once you've faced against the ultimate weapon, you will be able to take part in this. So you should be able to do this quite easily on a free trial. You might have a bit of catching up to do to get to that point. It's not too far into the A Realm Reborn storyline, but of course, you know, there's lots of patch content after that. So it shouldn't take too long if you're still starting your adventure out and you've got until, you know, the 8th of May to get uh, started on that and get through it. So of course you create your account for Final Fantasy XIV, you level up your character to level 50, you do the ultimate weapon, and then if we scroll down you'll see that there are a bunch of new event items. These are the main rewards then. So the main reward this time around is none other than Clive Rosfield's outfit. This is obviously multi-gender. It is not locked to gender. There are slight variations, obviously, for fitting onto your character. And it obviously comes as a four-piece. This is not a one-piece set. These are four diable separate items. There is no helm associated with this. If you've played Final Fantasy 16, then you'll know that at a pivotal point in Final Fantasy 16 Clive dons this beautiful red and black outfit. Of course this is Diable. It is called the Meteon outfit. You've got the Meteon vest, the Meteon gauntlets, the Meteon uh, chaucers, chaucers and the Meteon solarets. So I cannot personally wait to see the world filled with these items and uh, I, I really want to know how they die. I love the cape with the obviously the collar at the top here. Obviously for female characters they've allowed for the bust and it looks kind of more like a corset um, than obviously the, the, the male version. It is really really cool. I cannot wait to see this in the game and scream everywhere to me a freak and uh, watch as everyone confused and yeah, just go play Final Fantasy 16. Some of the music in there is amazing. Uh, speaking of music, we'll get to that in a moment. But there is a mount and a minion with this event as well. So not only are we getting a four-piece glamour set that's diable, that's multi-gender, that everyone can use and has no helm so Viera and Rothgar can use it, we also have a mount. Now, if you've played Final Fantasy 16, there is a tiny little character in there at the start of the game called Torgal. Torgal then is basically this size, and you can get him as a minion. This is the Torgal pup. It says, go on, you know you want to pet the adorable fellow. What could possibly go wrong? So that's the Torgol pup minion. And then we have the Torgol whistle, which is the Torgol mount. This is when he grows up. So later in the game, a bit of a spoiler, I guess, Torgol grows up. Um, and uh, you'll have to play the game to know what happens in that time to get to that point. But Torgol is a very special mount and a very special character from 16. There's a lot of Torgol lore, and it's it's just such a good character. It really is. And it says, This horn-carved instrument emits a steadfast tone that calls the trusty Torgol to your side. To me, Torgol! Yes, it is just... It is fantastic. I can't wait to see this. I also want 
to know if there's any interactions with the mount. I don't know if it has any action buttons associated with it, but it, if it does, then I'll be really happy. Of course, we've got the Mama Sheba dog mount. We've got a couple of other dog mounts in the game, but nothing quite as awesome as Torgol, a massive dire wolf, essentially, that you ride on the back of. And it appears to be not scaling. They've shown a Lalafell here off in this. I presume he stays the same size regardless, but again, we just have speculation at this point. Um, but we'll, uh, hopefully it does scale. I don't know. Do you like scaling mounts? I quite like scaling mounts. And we were talking about the music being incredible from Final Fantasy 16. Is if the four-piece glamour set the mount and the minion wasn't enough. We also get, in addition to the music, a Clive Rosfield card. This is obviously a legendary card to add to your collection, so if you know anything about this, usually there are tournaments of the game. You can get various cards from uh, in-game triple triad tournaments, but there's also um, ones for events, right? There are special characters. We have pretty much the main protagonist for most of the games uh, in immortalized in card form and Clive is joining those ranks. I'm not sure what details that has in terms of like North, South, East, West numbers, but uh, I can imagine he's gonna be quite good. So the music then, oh boy. We're not gonna be able to play like demos of these, apologies in advance. Uh, you can probably Google them um, because I don't wanna infringe on copyright. We've got uh, Tonitrua X Machina. Um, I'm not, I don't remember which song that is personally, as an orchestra, and we've got Idols of the Empire orchestra and roll. I know which one that is. We've got Forevermore, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. That is a really good song. Uh, Before the Storm of Care Norvent. Oh, that's, uh, that's, I'm not going to say where that's from. Spoilers. Go play 16. The State of the Realm orchestra and roll. Very cool. Uh, who I really, who am I, uh, who I really am. Very nice. Away, Refrain. Okay, that is one of the best songs from 16. To sail forbidden seas. Oh, that's that's uh, quite late game. I like that quite a lot. And find the flame. Okay, find the flame is one of the most iconic pieces of music from Final Fantasy 16. You've probably heard it on nearly every trailer. I yeah, I can't wait to have that blasting at full volume in my uh, my uh, FC house. And then we've got land of icons. Fantastic. So of course we've got three, six nine yeah we got 10 orchestra and rolls a triple triad card a mount a minion and a four-piece diable glamour set <laughs> this event is awesome so of course what i believe is this is my speculation i'm guessing that you're going to get the outfit and probably the mount maybe from the storyline quest i don't know we need more information on that um but as for the rest of this, there's no way they're going to give you all of this as a direct reward. My guess is that with Final Fantasy XV being similar, we'll probably need to get MGP and probably a good amount of that. So my recommendation to you, just, I don't know, I, this is a prediction more than anything, I would definitely imagine that MGP would be required for this. So if you want to go and obviously do fashion report for the next few weeks, just in preparation for this, you get 60,000 MGP base, 66,000 if you have your FC buffs on. You can casually do this every Friday when my videos go live. Follow those instructions and uh, you should probably have enough by the time this comes out. Fingers crossed. Of course, there is obviously the challenge log and other things in the gold saucer, but that's my speculation. Uh, unless they have it vendor purchased somewhere else, but I, I doubt it. It's the sort of thing you'd want people to work towards, especially in uh, a lot of content before the expansion. So very cool stuff. And of course, there's a write up for Final Fantasy 16. If you didn't know anything about that, it is a great game. It is a fantastic game. It is definitely one of the best games I've played uh, in terms of Final Fantasy single player games in a very long time. If you've liked playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and you want even more of that Final Fantasy goodness, Definitely do yourself a favor and visit Valisthea and uh, visit Clive and, uh, well, see the tale untold. These uh, pictures aren't too spoilery, but we're not going to read into them too much. But uh, I've got a full playthrough of the entire game on the YouTube channel if you want to go check that out. Um, it should be on the live section. Go back a bit. There's also a playlist. And we've also done the first DLC and we'll be playing the new DLC, Rising Tide, that deals with Leviathan soon, so I'll, uh, I'll I'll definitely be looking forward to that personally. 
But yeah, what a fantastic event. In my opinion, the music scrolls, they didn't have to go quite as ham. Find the Flame is amazing, but to have some of the chill out sort of hub music as well as some of the battle themes and uh, area themes is nice. The mount is going to be an extra special treat. The minion is adorable and the glamour is like the mwah, chef's kiss. It really is. Anyway, let me know what you think about this event. If you're going to pick any of these items up, make sure you do not miss this. It starts on the 2nd of April. I'll be there and I'll see you there in game. And uh, yeah, you can imagine on the 9th of May, people will be like, I didn't log in. I didn't log in and I didn't get to level 50. And I'll be like, no, but I'm sure they'll bring it back in the future. They often do, but uh, they are rarer and fewer and far between when it comes to uh, the Final Fantasy 15 crossover, which we just had. It's been a, a, a good couple of years since we saw that. So um, I would imagine the same will likely be for this. But uh, welcome all new Xbox and new account players to the game. Definitely don't miss out on this one. Much love. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.